If I were to ask you, which is that one career which is most popular in India today? I think most of you would say engineering, and you wouldn't be wrong, because it is the most sought-after course even today. But there is one career option related to engineering that seems to be gaining popularity in recent times, and that is robotics. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the field of robotics and what it takes to get into the field. Hi, everybody. This is Aditi here, and I am your host for today's show. So, welcome to the show, Skills Gateway, brought to you by Million Lights. Robotics is a multidisciplinary field that includes mechanical engineering, electrical and computer engineering, and computer science. Robotics not only includes engineering activities but also elements of research, design, cognitive science, and artificial intelligence. Robots are machines that can be put to various uses. They can be used in jobs that are too dangerous or unsuitable for humans. These days, robots are taking over repetitive jobs. that can be automatized and don't need human judgment and creativity robots are replacing humans in hazardous and tedious jobs in factories mines atomic plants etc they are also being used to speed up manufacturing processes in industries robotics engineers develop and maintain applications and conduct research to expand the potential of robots they usually use computer aided design and drafting and computer aided manufacturing system to perform their tasks some of the duties of robotics engineers include debugging programs standardizing and servicing robots those entering this field should have an aptitude for maths physics chemistry and electronics they should also be skilled in using computers robotics engineers must be familiar with logic microprocessors and computer programming so that they can design the right robot for each application along with the technical know how interest in research is essential in this field for this robotics engineers must continually upgrade their technical knowledge to keep abreast of new developments in this rapidly changing bachelor's degree in engineering or a related field which is of 4 years duration is required for most entry level positions in robotics engineering robotics being an interdisciplinary course invites students who have completed their graduation in mechanical engineering electrical engineering instrumentation engineering or computer engineering with an interest in robotics and artificial intelligence for advancement in positions you need a master's degree or a phd A PhD is required to teach in this field as well as for most high level research positions. A master's degree requires 2 years while a PhD takes 3 to 5 years to complete. A course in robotics trains and educates a student in the field of artificial intelligence, computer aided manufacturing, computer integrated manufacturing system, computational geometry, robot motion planning, digital electronics and microprocessors. Jobs in the field of robotics can be found in several areas. There are job prospects in research and engineering of course, but also in space exploration, agriculture, mining, power plant, maintenance and many more. Apart from this, qualified experts and researchers can associate themselves with different segments of R&D and in robotics. Robots are also put to use in situations that would be dangerous for humans. like cleaning toxic waste or underwater exploration robotics has also found its way into fields related to surgery modern warfare and nanotechnology today's gaming industry is making good use of the intelligence provided by robotics xbox pcs and playstation are using artificial intelligence in their games most robotics engineers are employed by private robot manufacturers or robot users Some engineers work in military and space programs. Others work for colleges and universities 
or vocational school. Robotics engineers who work for robot manufacturers are sometimes called robotics test engineers or automation system engineers. These engineers apply the robotic system to a particular use on a manufacturing assembly line. They also create integrated environment between people and machinery. Robotics engineers can advance to management positions and become robotics managers or directors of automation. Some robotics engineers advance by moving into robot sales or by starting their own robotics consulting firms. An individual with a master's degree in robotics can seek employment in research related jobs. Space research organizations like ISRO hire such qualified professionals. Institutes such as Indian Institute of Technology provides jobs for masters in engineering graduates for doing extensive research work in artificial intelligence. Furthermore, the Indian Institute of Chemical Biology offers openings for research fellowships in robotics and artificial intelligence. NASA, of course, is the ultimate job destination for those interested in applying robotics to space science. In India, organizations like BHEL, BARC, ISRO and DRDO, besides other companies like Tata and the Jindal, do recruit robotics engineers. There is extensive scope for employment in this field abroad as well. Companies like Intel recruit robotics and artificial intelligence specialists for microchip manufacturing. The Robotics Industrial Association in North America provides job opportunities in robot manufacturing and maintenance system integration. That's all for this session. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any queries, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. For more information, log on to our website www.millionlights.org or give us a missed call on 022-3077-8274. This is Aditi signing off. Keep watching Skills Gateway and stay tuned to Million Lights.